So mm -hmm. here we are at Costco. And what is today, Hannah? My birthday. And how old are you? 15. 15 years old. Holding her baby sister, Anya, who is eight weeks old today. Eight weeks old today. 15 years old today. September 1st, 2017. And... <laughs> and Mr. Pillow is Hannah's first present. She's doing some birthday shopping at Costco, and later she'll be doing some birthday shopping at Barnes and Noble. All right. What the heck? Does that actually give heat? That's pretty cool. That's a cool effect. It's a universal curved wall mount electric fireplace. It does say it has a high temperature, so it must actually heat. It's hot. It says hot, don't touch. That's pretty nice. Hey Hannah. Yeah, that one's um they're gonna be moving into it. Can you try some? So far, so good. Oh, yeah, that's good. What do you think? I think it's good. It's pretty good. <laughs> soup? It tastes a bit like that cheese soup from Panera. What? Yeah, it it tastes a bit like the cheese soup from Panera. Oh, well, that's not bad. Try it. Okay. Give me a little cool well, soup. Well, that's pretty good. Organic. Oh, yummy. Mm -hmm. Not for everybody, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we were going back for a jacket. Okay. How's this offered? No. I generally don't like trying samples. It's very meaty. Light and dry. And So Hannah got a plush blanket to match her plush pillow here and some gel pens. Are you having fun? Mm -hmm. What do you think of that? How does it feel to be 15, Hannah? Not really. <laughs> I can't believe my baby is 15. Anyway. So Hannah's gotten, gotten some shopping done here. And now where are we off to? Yeah, Barnes and Noble. One of Hannah's favorite places. And this is Mr. Pillow. <laughs> Where? I didn't, oh, he's down there. <laughs> we are now leaving Costco. To Barnes and Noble. Welcome to Barnes and Noble. Veritable treasure trove of cultural artifacts and enjoyable narrative and popular culture and the sort of place we like to go to get some educational stimulation and entertainment. And we are here now on the birthday of Hannah. In we go. The lights at the door. World mythology, Roman Empire, Norse myths.
That was my generation. Stay puff. Rubik's Cube. I need a Rubik's Cube. You should get a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> Everybody loves Rubik's Cubes. Cool. So show us what this is, Hannah. A SpongeBob comic. A SpongeBob comic book. Our SpongeBob fanatics didn't know that this existed until now, and only one of them does. Mm -hmm. Cool. How about this one? Kentucky Fried Chicken Saga continues. Wait, what? Across the universe. <laughs> Green Lantern versus. Is that versus Colonel Sanders or? I know, but is he with him or against him? I can't read what it says on there. I'm thinking it's a break game. Oh no. Mm -hmm. What? It is Green Lantern versus the Colonel. <laughs> Green Lantern versus the Colonel. No more green is in weird world of HP Lovecraft. Worlds collide. Oh, look, they have Doctor Who magazines too. What is this? Essential Doctor. Essential, where do you see that? Oh. Essential Doctor Who. Adventures in Space. I guess that's just uh, information. <laughs> Here's Justice League of America, or the Rebirth. baby. <laughs> What's in the Spongebob comic? Number 71. Is that like a story that they have on the cartoon or is that a new story? No, it's not on the cartoon. I think mm -hmm. this is just a different one. Interesting. Here's another SpongeBob comic. Super Giant Spectacular. I think uh, Sarah will be interested to know that they have SpongeBob comics, and Hannah certainly is. So she's going to get a couple of SpongeBob comics for her birthday, and no doubt make her siblings jealous. We can read them too. She's a good sibling. <laughs> You're Sherry. They're all Sherry. Except for Zachary, who only shares on his terms. What do you think, Anya? Your first time in Barnes and Noble. Yeah. in a small comic book section of Barnes & Noble. And here's what we're really here for. The comics. World of H.P. Lovecraft and other scary things there. Jeez, this never used to exist when I was interested in reading all of that. Teen Titans Go, Hannah's searching the ranks. What you got so far, Hannah? Oh, those are good. Oh, wait, let me see them. Sorry, I didn't put them on camera there. Stephen King. Hey, you what? should get Creep Show. Check it out. It's a horror comic. It was made into a movie. Actually, it's a comic version of the movie. Oops. Oops. 
Did you did you ever have this, Jennifer? No. Creep show? I didn't have comics. Oh, it's just like the movie, only in comic form. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. James Joyce. Have any new copy of Ulysses? No, I don't think we do. I think we'll have to look specifically in the genre stuff for them. No, they don't. I found it before. It's <laughs> so watch the movie. <laughs> The story I was telling you about was called The Martian. Uh -huh. The one with the sad Martian coming to Mars and dying. Right. Okay. They found a big book of science fiction. And it is big. Yeah, I think so. Biggest one was the Jules Verne? Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. They got Dandelion Wine and the Illustrated Man. Well, we already have those. But all of Ooh, the October Country. I've got that too. Oh, yeah, we have. I don't know about Fahrenheit 451 now, I'm not sure if it's something that looked at this way comes, but we have uh, another one. Tell you the truth, I've never read Fahrenheit 451. Yeah. I saw the movie. You did? Yeah. That's a movie you don't see playing very much at all either anymore. Yeah, I, I, I like the stories connected to it, like the exiles. Mm hmm. Yeah? What do you think about this collection? That's pretty interesting. Horror. Sometimes these are got some pretty strong stuff stories in them, but they're almost always very effective. And it's got Ramsey Campbell in there, and I can't go wrong with him. And Robert Silverberg's a great writer. Evangeline Walton. Holy cow. Not Rose Cube. Calvin's puzzle, but looks interesting nonetheless. I don't think I want to push Stinky Pig's belly. What do you guys think? <laughs> Pass the gas? No. no. <laughs> He's twenty percent off, really. <laughs> yes, he is. Don't you want a Stinky Pig for your birthday? No. You don't want to play Pass the gas? No. No. <laughs> Anya doesn't like that idea either. No, I don't blame her. That Kudo is over here. And there's playing cards. Oh, that's cool. The art kit. <laughs> Architectural model building kit. Did you see this? Oh, did you see that? Him? That's neat. I'm sure they're very expensive, but they look cool. How much are these kids? Oh my gosh. $249.95 for our kids. The pandemic Cthulhu game. Pandemic? Which is a fun game. And mix it with Cthulhu, even better. We had a Buffy the Vampire Slayer working room. Yeah. Do you know the one we had is worth money? Of course. 
We had like a zillion copies of it, Hannah, and now I don't know where they are. It's a cooperative <laughs> thing. About the Buffy the Vampire Slayer game. It's a cooperative game where you help Buffy protect Sunnydale from the forces of evil. Thirty-nine ninety-five. We shall see if it's cheaper on Amazon. Correct. Let's look at the what's the price tag on the Pandemic Reign of Cthulhu. $49.95. Hey, we saw these architectural building kits that were $249.95. My goodness gracious, crazy. Ah, there's one of your kind there, aren't you? Can you see that? See you alligator. Trail at the house on the hill. Widow's Walk expansion. What is it? How is One Night Ultimate Werewolf different from Werewolf, Hannah? It says it's a faster version of it where everyone has a specific role. How much is that? Uh, $24.95. We should also look. Uh, we should look on busier games website. I bet it's cheaper there. Yeah, I don't know. This is a property game, too. What is that? You, uh, big Book the, of Madness? The Big Book of Man's, Madness has been opened up, and as student wizards, you have to cooperate to close each page and try not to lose your mind. I like the idea of cooperative games. That's a really good idea. It seems like it's... Uh, Ooh, I like this. Big, like big boggle. It's got extra oh. layers. Well, that would be a lot more fun, probably. Ooh, I love boggle. I always used to like to do too long words. I could do some shopping for myself here. Oh, oh, here we go. There's the Rubik's Cube. Yay, Rubik's Cube. All kinds of cubes here. Puzzle, puzzle, puzzle. Again, something I could get much cheaper, though, on eBay or Amazon. That's that, one of my you strategies. Be selling a Rubik's Cube on eBay? <laughs> Why would they want to? But of course, yes. I don't know how anybody can sell their room skip. I'm just yeah, she is. <laughs> She's tired. I like to shop on Amazon or eBay, usually eBay. But I like to window shop at other places so I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> I like Carcassonne. The, oh, uh, that's an expansion pack for River. Some people plus the Abbott. That, some people can make that a little too complicated. Yeah, that's true. King of Tokyo looks cool. It looks like a bunch of. Um, what? Where? It looks like a bunch of uh, oh. Japanese monsters or something. Oh. <laughs> this is my mayor of Tokyo idea. Oh, look, there's a legendary deck building yeah. game. It's Marvel. No, it says deck legendary building. deck building game. Oh boy, it's Marvel. We well, gotta look at the back of that, see how much that is, so I can look it up on the Amazon. Fifty nine ninety five. These these um these games are always expensive at Barnes and Noble, but you get to see a lot of titles that you wouldn't find in like your Toys R Us or something like that. True. Very true. Isn't it fun to look, Hannah? And then we'll go home and buy maybe some. Moonquake Escape. Harry Potter Triwizard Maze. What is that? Like a Harry Potter. I can't even remember sorry. what that game is called. No, not the one that you pop the bubble in the middle. That's not sorry. Is that sorry? I thought sorry. What, what, I thought sorry was the one where you move the little things along. Uh, like sorry sliders I think that's a different game I think this is a dip what was this called I don't know this looks like it's driving me crazy now the game all contemporary and everything <laughs> sushi go party this was what our original Yahtzee game looked like Ninja Turtles Monopoly they had a Zelda Monopoly here too they had some neat um Classic games at Costco. They were the classic Monopoly for thirteen dollars, and the classic Clue for thirteen dollars, and the classic Scrabble for thirteen dollars. Oh, this is cool. This 
the reproduction of the original version of it. Which had like a little box and the bigger army things on it. I bet it costs a fortune. I bet it does here. Yeah. All right, thirty nine ninety five. Yeah. You can get the retro games at Costco for twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Not yeah. Risk though. Risk is fun. But you can find, probably find the original version of Risk on eBay that has that box yeah, for probably eBay. about ten dollars. <laughs> you know, I have. To, I really don't know, but I'd have to look. I have to confess something. I don't care what box it's in. I don't either. I'm all about finding good deals and I prefer things that other people don't want so I can get good prices on them. I don't know, puppy uh, love does not look like fun to me. <laughs> oh look at you gotta go get to, you gotta get to the fire hydrant. Let's see that? Yeah, isn't that good? Yeah, should I put that on screen? This one looks fun. No, uh, yeah, puppy yeah, love. Yeah. <laughs> what are they sniffing each other? I don't even want to know. Yeah, and get into the fire hydrant there. Bricks line up four to claim the wall. Those just look fun because they're large Six. sized dice. Yeah. I just want to touch those. And, like pour them out on a table. Alrighty. <laughs> wonder how much that is. So how much is bricks? Turn around bricks. That looks interesting. 1995. Oh look, they're building walls with the giant colored dice. That looks like that must be you know, like a budget game for this place. Bounce oh. off also looks fun because it has balls. 1395 for ancient Yahtzee. Cheap, cheap, cheap. <laughs> we have the googly eyes game. That's kind of fun because you can't see anything when you're playing. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. Draw circuits. I like the um, I like these architecture kits, but these are two hundred forty nine ninety five. But that's such a cute little house. I want to be able to build a cute little dream house. Except in my cute little dream house, I would have an indoor pool off the back. And I'd have a room to put a trampoline in because every house should have a trampoline. Your dream house would not be cute nor little. No, it, it would probably be, be a big metal building. It would be a children's play big. center. That's what it would be. Well, that's so cute too. Look. Oh, that's Build London. It's mini Lego. I like the little Ferris wheel. Have you ever <laughs> the London Eye, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The mini kits are so cute. I would never pay. I wonder how much the mini kits cost. Hannah, yeah, turn that over. Let's see that. $39.95. Highway robbery. Yeah. Oh, the lightsaber is cool. Everybody should have a lightsaber. $199.95. That's why I come up on the window shop here. <laughs> I remember Power Rangers toys. Oh, I like the ghost pixel. Pixelated ghost. The Pac-Man plug and play. The ghost light. Pac-Man stuff. Oh, Pac-Man is my thing. Do you like Pac-Man? Yeah. Birthday girl also likes Pac-Man. I could go birthday shopping here. Oh, of course, I would just window shop and go back to home and shop on eBay for what I wanted. Those were the first electronic football games. Electronic football. I used to think they were so cool. Anya says she wants to go home, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> Here's a retro toy section. I had a lot of these things when I was little. Except instead of chunky people, I had actual little people. And I disliked little people when I was a child because little people had no legs or hands and I thought it was weird. Oh, and no feet or arms either. Now this is a toy I like, these big jumbo magnets for little hands. These are cool. Here, however, they are 
but you can find them much cheaper in the secondary market. But these are awesome. I love the little condiment set. It's so cute. That's awesome. That's so awesome. Look at the little jar of hot sauce, Hannah. Nice. And a little pepper and salt. Now we're in the bargain section. I have seen if she can store any deals.